Greetings YouTube, welcome to my tutorial on how I built my Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Foot Clan Soldier uh, costume. So step one is how I made the cowl and belt. I started off by going to a thrift store and finding an old uh, cheap purple turtleneck for a dollar. I put it on and I traced where I wanted the cowl to end with a piece of chalk. And then I took the uh, turtleneck off laid it out on my workbench and then just sort of uh, made sure that those lines were clear where I was going to cut. Then I took uh, scissors and I cut right through the uh, the turtleneck. I saved the pe all the separate pieces. Uh, I had these masks. Uh, on the right is the Deathstroke mask. That is the shape of the cowl that I ended up making. So I used the bottom piece here that you see the, what was the below the lower portion of this turtleneck and I sewed it down the middle middle to make um, the two halves. So I took the Deathstroke mask and I traced it and then I cut it out and I sewed the two halves together to make this mask. I put it on, I used some more chalk and I traced around sort of where my eyes were. It was hard to see through so I was sort of guessing as I was looking in the mirror and uh, when I finally was uh, happy with the approximate location I moved on and I got um, a, an airsoft mask which I used as the under the the face shell underneath the mask um, without this I think it uh, it just looks kind of silly and it doesn't look like a real costume like a it, it loses a lot without this this portion of the of the technique the next step of this build I'll show you more about the cow about the uh, face shell and uh, how that works the, I took the remaining pieces and I sewed those together to make the belt and I just used some cheap hook and loop from uh, Harbor Freight Tools. I glued that down right onto the belt and uh, so that's how the belt is made. It's very simple. Okay here we're looking at the face shell. I'll show you a look at what the, how the mask basically turned out. Um, I added a little bit of acrylic paint on the top there where the Foot Clan symbol is and I, uh, I painted that. Um, there's again, there's a look at the masks that I had for inspiration. That Deathstroke mask on the right is the one that this is most similar to. Here's the, the face shell. Sorry, I didn't take a photo of it before I painted the eyes yellow. But it's just an airsoft, a cheap airsoft ma uh, mask. You can find those online for, I think I spent around $12 or $15. Um, here's what it looked like before the eyes were really painted with spray paint. Um, I just put it on just to sort of get a sense of how uh, how I wanted it to look. I, I did I did cut out the one thing I will note is when you cut out the eyes, you want to make really really small cuts because when you stretch the mask over the top of this face shell, it will stretch out. So don't cut the eyes out really big. Cut them out really really small actually and let them stretch to the size and then after they stretch take a lighter and just run the lighter around the edges of the eye holes so that the uh, fra fabric doesn't fray and continue to um, get larger as time goes on. Here's a look at how it looked once I started to put it together with the cowl and again that same shot so this is a sort of a glimpse at how the mask turned out. The next step I'm just going to go over the um, the muscle suit and the uh, soft parts. So again it's just I started with this turtleneck from uh, a thrift store. I had this shirt, uh, just an old white t-shirt. Took some foam fabric and uh, that's just like from upholstery from like Walmart. I got that I think for a roll of it's like ten dollars for a roll of that foam and I just cut out some pieces so I could have some abs and you know muscles and stuff uh, that I don't naturally have sorry I don't have much of a tutorial on this but I just really kinda eyeballed it and freehanded it um, so that's that and then you see here's more looks at me uh, with the soft parts the shirt is just like a, a stretchy you know uh, lycra shirt so you can find that just about anywhere I cut thumb holes because I wanted my thumbs to be able to go through there uh, the next day, next step I spent the most time on was on the arm guards. I uh, had some uh, EVA foam, which is just anti-fatigue mats. You'll see that in all my builds just about. Um, I used this anti-fatigue mat, and I traced out the shape of my forearms, and then I flipped it and traced it again to make the uh, you know reciprocal part for the right and the left. Uh, here's a look at how thick it is. It's pretty thin. And I trimmed the edge of it with scissors to uh, give it, 
more of an armor look and less of a foam look. I do this a lot. You can there's a better look at how it's trimmed on an angle. I trim the the very edge of the foam on a on a tight angle so that it looks more uh, sharp on the edge on the outer edge that exposed edge here I wanted to make the wrist flexible so I just drew a couple of lines where my wrist would end up and then I took an exacto knife and I just cut out little trenches in the foam uh, so that it would be more flexible so that uh, when it is on I'll be able to move my hand in any direction and it will flex with the movement of my hand you'll see later in the photos how this looks uh, in the final stages and then uh, once I trace that and I cut it out the exacto I just ripped the little piece out the little trench to make that little trench uh, a couple of photos here of that so you can sort of see how that went then the next step I uh, took the the pieces and I used a heat gun and I started uh, heat I heat sealed the outer side of the foam and I shaped it with uh, some gloves so you can see the before and after there the left one is heat sealed and shaped the right one is not then once those were done I uh, cut out some hook and loop from again from Harbor Freight Tools I think a roll of it's like five dollars I used that hook and loop to do the to secure these in place and then those hook and loop strips are glued in place with hot glue and E6000 then I took a Dremel and I went around uh, on the edges of or all around the the I'm sorry, I skipped ahead. I didn't use the Dremel yet. This was a marker. Then I took the Dremel and I traced where I had drawn with the marker uh, the shape that I wanted the gauntlets to have with that, you know, that sort of uh, reminiscent to the cartoon. They have like some little details on their on their forearm pieces. So they could see there where I took used the Dremel piece and I just, I just trimmed out those little trenches. And then uh, I did that to both forearms. And I decided to add a little Foot Clan symbol on the back of the handguard. I just thought that would be sort of cool. I don't know. It's custom. That's why. That's what's cool about this. You can do whatever you want. Um, so then uh, I, after at the end here, I, I made another video. And you can go for that on YouTube. And it shows you how I arrived at this final look here with the uh, paint. Uh, it's acrylic paint. So... It's a good technique, and I'd recommend that video. Just go ahead, and you'll see it in my YouTube channel. Then for the shoes, um, I think I'm just going to wear these Sanooks with it. I had this old pair of Sanooks that were sort of dingy and yellow looking. I took a black, just a black magic marker, and I just colored them with black magic marker to make them dark colored again. Uh, in fact, I've been wearing them more ever since. <laughs> these shins I just made out of pieces of craft foam. I just, or excuse me, EVA foam. I wrapped them around my legs and just sort of traced it out, added some foam, uh, Velcro, some hook and loop to the edge where they secure, and then I took some hockey tape and I just went around uh, each piece with the hockey tape so that it would look more like uh, those wraps that the ninjas have in, uh, you know, in traditional, in a traditional ninja costume. Uh, next, here's a look at the weapons. I had, I made a little throwing star out of um, two millimeter craft foam. I literally did this in about a minute. I did not take any care to make it perfectly symmetrical or anything. And I've got a boken that's painted. I'm going to use that boken uh, as my one of my other props for this costume. So there's a good look at how the weapons look with the costume when it's all done. Alright, so I hope that this video was helpful. I hope that you were able to learn something from it. And I hope you can make one too and uh, come out and hang out with us. Uh, the Superhero Alliance of Western New York has Ninja Turtles in it. Buffalo's best TMNT is uh, the local cosplayers of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle fan, fan group here in Buffalo. We've got an April O'Neil. We have a Splinter. We have someone working on a Casey Jones. And now we have a Foot Soldier along with all four of the Turtles, of course. So it's really cool. We go out and do stuff for charity. And uh, they're really great people, and I love hanging out with them. So this is a cool excuse to go and just get out and hang out and have some fun. So, all right, hope my video is helpful. Hope you learned a little something. And subscribe to my channel. Like it if you want. That'd be cool. All right, thanks a lot, YouTube. Check you later.